Today we're going to go into editing and managing metadata within Premiere Pro. So if you're within Premiere Pro, you're most likely going to see the metadata field down here. Uh, mine's on the upper left here because I have uh, my workspace set to a custom workspace. But if you're in the default, it's usually, I think, down over here. If you don't see it at all, go to that Windows panel and make sure metadata is checked. First thing you want to do when it comes to editing and managing metadata is click on that metadata field. You can add new fields or remove fields by hovering over it with your mouse, right clicking and going metadata display. And this will give you the option of choosing what metadata you want. If there's something that's not listed here and you want to add a custom one, you can do this add property, click on it, name it, whatever you want and then select the fields. So integer is gonna be a numeric value to put in the field. Real, uh, I think is a decimal, if you wanna use a decimal in a numeric. Uh, I'm not too sure, I've never actually used that one. Text is self-explanatory. And uh, Boolean is going to be, if you want a checkbox type of a field. So I'm gonna cancel out of there because I don't want anything custom. There's plenty on here already, as you can see. So some of the basic ones, I'm not gonna go into all of these because uh, if you are a subscriber to this channel, which you should be, you know I try to keep my videos short and to the point. So some of the basic ones, Premiere Pro project metadata, labels, files, names, that kind of stuff. Um, handy ones are going to be maybe a camera roll or sound roll if you use that type of information, time codes, uh, file names, that kind of stuff. Uh, under Dublin Core, there's a few other ones. Copyright notice is handy. Keywording I find really useful uh, for organizing stuff. And of course, uh, EXIF schema, uh, which is generally what we think of when we think of metadata, that um, file information of uh, you know pixels, image length, that kind of stuff. So I'm gonna close out of here. I'm gonna leave it to what I've already selected. Feel free to play with it as you see fit and decide which ones you want. You can then, of course, create a custom saved one if you want. So let's cancel out of this. So I've got my metadata fields that I want. To make this easier so that you're not seeing all of this crammed into the corner of a screen, and if yours is down here, it's even more crammed, you can click on where it says metadata and hit the tilde key on your keyboard. So if you don't know where the tilde key is, uh, do a quick search because uh, it varies for keyboard type. Uh, mine, based on the current keyboard I have, is in the upper left just underneath my escape key. So as we can see, now we can see a bit more, make this a bit easier to manage. So stuff that you can add are comments and descriptions if you want. Um, this is primarily what I use my metadata for is gonna be my scene and shot information. So I can take my that file and I can label it if I want uh, scene one and shot one, and then take the next file, name it scene two, scene one, shot two, so forth and so on. You can tag it if it's a good one or not. This is helping with filtering. So as you're managing all your video files, especially if you're on a film shoot and you've got 20 takes and only four of them are good, well, let, tag them as good so that way you can filter out all of the not very good ones. Original file name, that type of stuff is also really useful. Uh, ownership information under rights management. Uh, I'm going to name myself for that. So that's all the stuff that you can kind of edit in here. So I'm going to hit the tilde key to get out of that. So now let's go into, this is usually where we spend most of our time in the project field. And you can see I've got all of my video files. Well, by default, of course, they're going to be named as the uh, default file name straight off the camera, whatever that was. You can change this obviously within here, uh, but you can also, I'm gonna go, I'm hitting the tilde key to expand. Make sure if you do that, if you're gonna change the file name, use the media file name field, so that way you can actually see what that original file name was. And notice also I've got that scene one and shot one now, in regards to managing these so I know that this is scene one shot one and then I can go to the next one I can say let's say scene one shot two and if you click on up here you can now filter by stuff 
You can also, if you want to drag them, you can move them around. You right click on it, go metadata display and choose the ones that you want viewable within here. So maybe within here, you don't necessarily need as much information as you might want in your metadata fields. So just choose what you want. So let's say I don't want log note. I can just do a quick search, log note, uncheck it, hit OK, and now it's not showing that anymore. And that is going to really, it's going to really going to make your life so much easier in regards to managing video files in order to speed up your editing workflow. I'm going to hit tilde to just get out of here again. And that's pretty much it. That's managing and editing metadata within Premiere Pro. Uh, I should note that if you're thinking, oh, hey, I want to make sure this all exports, well, that's a whole nother can of worms in regards to getting certain field information to export from Premiere Pro. Uh, this really is all about file management within Premiere Pro to speed up your editing workflow. As always, hope you found that useful and have a good day.